Hi everyone, I'm Ben and you're watching The Snecker Show. In this episode, we're going to bring back one of the first ever big stars on this channel. Certainly not me. I'm talking about my Harbor Freight Modified Dust Collection System. Well, thank you for joining me today and welcome back to the show. Today we're here to talk about just how much you suck. It's been more than four years since I bought my dust collection system and modified it from a single stage with a five micron filter into this two stage system with a thin baffle and a trash can on the bottom to catch the big chips and this wind environmental filter on the side to improve the filtration. Now, I've been asked several times since I posted those videos about the airflow and I've never actually measured it. So I figured after all these years it was about time that I finally got around to doing that. So I picked up this inexpensive anemometer. I'm going to take some different measurements on different parts of the system and see if I can get some, uh, some accurate readings. And then I'll keep an eye on the comments section to see if the internet unites to tell me that I did it wrong. Now for anyone who is just looking for the final answer of what all the measurements were, you can probably find that in the comments or the video description. For everybody else who doesn't just want to blindly believe everything that you read on the internet, I'm going to go through all the steps in setting up the meter and also let you watch as I measure each of the different areas of this system uh, that are relevant. I'm going to do um, this port here, I'm going to do the end of the 4 inch hose, and I'm going to measure back here on this 5 inch one that's closer to the impeller. So uh, I'm going for a reading in cubic feet per minute, CFM, and to get that measurement I'm going to have to figure out the square feet of, uh, of each one of these areas where I'm going to take a measurement. So if I was doing like an air conditioning duct and wanted to measure the flow of the, the HVAC system, uh, if it was one, uh, one foot by one foot in the duct, I would just enter one cubic foot into the meter before taking the measurement. That way when the fan is, is spinning, it's actually going to give me a, an accurate reading for the size of that duct based on how many cubic feet of air per minute are flowing through the duct. Each of these areas is different, so I'm going to have to measure them separately and nothing conveniently measures one foot by one foot, so I'm probably going to have to take off my shoes so I can use all ten fingers and all ten toes to count. I'll be right back. I looked up the specs for this model of dust collection system, and they're advertising 1,550 CFM. Now, I'm guessing none of my measurements are going to hit that, uh, partially because anytime you see some kind of a number provided by a manufacturer advertising their product, it's going to be measured in the most favorable conditions possible, which doesn't reflect the reality of your workshop. I'm guessing they measured pretty close to the impeller right there where there's a five inch opening and not a lot of changes in directions or restrictions that are going to slow down the airflow. Uh, I have coming from the impeller, the thin baffle here. So there are a few changes of, uh, in direction and then it goes to a four inch hose, which is going to further restrict the airflow. And then there's a, a corrugated uh, flexible hose here. So that, Flexible and corrugated is going to slow down the airflow even more, as will the distance. So the farther away from the system I get, the slower or the less uh, air is going to flow because it's going to have resistance. And there's also the 0.5 micron filter up there, which is dirty. I'm going to measure first with the filter dirty, and then I'll blow it out uh, per the, um, the manufacturer's recommendations and measure again to see how much it changes. And lastly, I should point out that I already took a lot of these measurements uh, once. And as I was measuring under the impeller body, I noticed that there was a, an old shop towel that I, I just vacuumed off the floor because I was being lazy one day and it got stuck up in there and it's been sitting there for who knows how long. And that was costing me almost 100 CFM right there. So I got that removed and now I'll do all the measurements again. Now the first measurement will be at the end of this hose with the dirty filter. And I measured carefully using some popsicle sticks to the smallest diameter part of this fitting and ended up with 0 0.071 square feet. So set that up using the meter. I uh, hit the power button and then I hit the function button to get to the area screen. That's where you uh, enter the, the area you're going to be measuring and hit, let's see, yep, unit to get back to zero. Min max goes to the next. And next, because it's going to be 0, 071. And 
and that will be square feet. And then you hit min max again, hear that double beep, and you know that the, the measurement for the area is set. And then hit function again, get to the next screen where you measure the flow. And um, let's see, hit uh, unit to switch to CFM. And now we're ready to go. And when I measure this, I'm going to try to uh, do it consistently. So I'll set that little circle right there on the edge. I don't want to put this too far inside there because it'll restrict some of the air and increase velocity, which will trick it into thinking that it's actually a higher measurement than it really is. So uh, if I set this on the edge, that's going to put the, uh, the face of the, uh, the anemometer pretty much flush with the surface. So I, I think it should be pretty accurate. I actually don't know how they do their math, but I assume that they somehow account for the, uh, the size of, of the meter. But uh, I'll get back to that more a little bit later. For now, we'll just do this first measurement. I'm going to clean out the filter with some compressed air, 60 PSI, which is what the uh, wind environmental people recommend for this filter, and uh, then we'll try again. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to be cleaning dust out of my phone for a week. Now, in the four years I've had this filter, that was the most I have ever cleaned it. I usually just give it the first round and call it good. I'll vacuum out around the, the rim on the bottom because that's where a lot of the dust settles, but I never actually put a camera up in there to see how much dust was coming out. And I'm pretty sure if I wanted to keep going, I could get even more out of there. But this should be enough to do the next test with a little bit more accuracy. And here we go again after cleaning the filter.
I have the end of the hose capped off and now I'm going to test right here. It was a little bit larger diameter, so we got 0 0.76. Quite a difference just not having this uh, this extra resistance from the hose and for the next measurement I'm going to try to get up as close as I can to the impeller so I'm just going to take that section of pipe off of there Now, trying to be as accurate as possible with this part right here, I, I measured the diameter, figured the area for this circle, and then since each one of these posts, or the, all these posts, are a little over a quarter of an inch wide, I figured for these four right here, and then these four sections right there, that's a total of two, uh, two inches I could subtract from the final measurement. So at, uh, that gets us to 0 0.98 cubic feet for, for this one right here. And that's set. And we're ready. Nope, nope, we're not ready. Function. And unit. My cell phone is on the floor right now filming this, so I have to turn it so I can see. All right, there we are, CFM and the correct area, and here we go. <laughs> Now that turned out to be unexpectedly low. Uh, now if we're talking about 1,550 as the manufacturer's measurement, I'm guessing with no filter or bag on there or anything else. Um, but still, that was, uh, that was pretty low. So I'm going to try this again. I was thinking that maybe those posts up there were causing some interference, uh, just, uh, just getting in the way with uh, the, you know, the meter. So I added this part back on, and that way I can just measure on this area which doesn't have any interference. The actual area of the, the, the circle doesn't change because it's still uh, the restricted part up there. So I'm going to drop this back down and hopefully that works. And we got the same, let's see, here we go, the same numbers as, as before. Sorry if there's a little bit of a glare. Uh, we got those numbers right there, set, and uh, we'll go Function and unit unit should take us to CFM and this time I'm going to use the uh, the max setting here and that will just let us see what the highest uh, highest reading is when this is going um, All right, let's go try it again Okay, well that got us up to 813. That is still just a little over half of uh, what the manufacturer is calling for, but uh, it's not entirely surprising. I mean, I, I am, of course, uh, using an old filter in there. So that's where we're at at the impeller.
I'm not sure how the math is done internal to the meter, so I don't know if I should subtract for the area covered by the meter or if that's already factored in. If it's already factored in, are they assuming that only the fan portion is inside the duct or the entire meter? Well, the point is, this isn't a lab, and I'm not claiming a high degree of accuracy in the results. I'm just trying to get close. I measured the openings carefully, and I entered the correct numbers in the meter, but beyond that, I'm just showing you what it shows me. I am curious, though, if I would get similar numbers using a larger duct. I'm too cheap to buy HVAC ducting for this video since I already spent money on this meter, but I am going to go with cardboard. I didn't have enough leftover cardboard after building my miter saw dust collection hood, but fortunately I discovered that I can get some appropriately sized cardboard for free just by buying a large trampoline for my son. They just give this stuff away with the trampoline, no questions asked. So on to the measurement. How about that? Thanks for watching. See you next time.